So do we need a guru and if we are, why do we need a guru? Well, certainly we need because uh, even in uh, uh, mundane science we need uh, to study whatever we want to practice under someone who has knowledge and accomplished practitioner. For example, if you want to become a doctor, you know, do you need to study? Some people think, yeah, no, you don't. You can become a, uh, what do you call it, brain surgeon without any knowledge. <laughs> but can you imagine, you know, you need a brain surgery and then the surgeon says, you know, I never studied under anybody. I'm never certified, but uh, I'm pretty sure that I can do a good job. So trust me, I can operate you very nicely and uh, actually only someone who actually doesn't have any brain would agree to that kind of proposal. So even uh, from mundane point of view, we can see that um, the in-depth study and authorization is so important to do any responsible activity and what to speak of the most responsible activity, connecting people to the Supreme Lord. Uh, and everything in our life depends from that. So definitely we do require a uh, very serious study under accomplished practitioner who is a uh, guru, a Vaishnava guru. And uh, then we can get certified uh, and the process of certification uh, in studies is called Diksha. Diksha is like, uh, you know, you enroll in, uh, in the studies, so you become officially a student. So this is what Diksha means, uh, the uh, process of spiritual initiation. And uh, uh, then we have so many Shiksha Gurus in the same way as in university you have a principal but then you have so many other teachers who also teach you different varieties of subjects. So we have one Diksha Guru, one Initiating Guru, but we have so many Shiksha Gurus who are teaching us different uh, spiritual sciences and arts in Krishna Consciousness.